Welcome back to Educator.com's SAT prep course. This lesson is on passage-based questions, and specifically about passage-based question types. Let's get started. All right, we're going to begin by asking what are passage-based questions, just in case you haven't encountered them before. We're going to look at the types of passages you can expect to encounter in a critical reading section, and we're going to look at the types of questions. They include literal comprehension, vocabulary and context, and extended reasoning. Then we're going to look at some strategies for dealing with passage-based questions. Taking notes, yes, you really can take notes on the SAT. Uh, how to read what's there and what isn't there. How to ask questions and reading the questions first, which actually has a question mark after it because sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes it's not a good idea. We'll talk about that. Then we're going to look at a list of key words and phrases and what they mean in the context of these questions. And we're going to conclude with a list of tips for dealing with passage-based questions. All right. To begin with, what are passage-based questions? They are questions related to long, short, or paired passages. So you may have a short passage with a few questions, you may have a big old long passage with a few questions, or you may have a pair of shorter ones and you have to contrast them. They may, now, these questions may ask you for information directly related in the passage, something that someone comes out and says, or they may ask you to draw conclusions or make predictions after reading between the lines, okay? which means figuring out what someone's saying even when they're not saying it. These questions usually appear toward the end of the critical reading section. All right, what kinds of passages can you expect to see on the SAT? Well, you're going to find at least some nonfiction passages, usually in the fields of the humanities, social studies, or the natural sciences. So you may find you know, a history passage or a passage about you know, politics. You may find a passage about science. They'll all show up in there. You will also find passages from literary fiction, usually novels or short stories. Now, some of this will be relatively recent, but there will be, on almost every SAT test, at least one passage from a book written prior to the mid-20th century. It may be early 20th century, it may be 19th century, it may even be earlier, but you're going to have to watch out for that older style of English. Now, you can also expect to encounter paired passages, two passages that have something to do with each other. Maybe they talk about the same thing, but they will take different approaches, so you'll want to contrast them. These passages will contain narrative or storytelling, persuasive, expository or explanatory, and literary elements, and you may be asked about any of those elements. All right, what kind of questions do you get? You get literal comprehension questions which ask you to identify information that is directly present in the passage. Okay? These are, are you paying attention, did you hear someone when they said something questions. Then we have vocabulary in context questions. Now, they almost always take the form of, in the context of line 37 or whatever it is, the word blah most nearly means, and you figure out what the word blah means. So they ask you uh, for the definition of a word in the context of the passage. And finally, extended reasoning questions ask you to draw conclusions from or evaluate the information in the passage. So these require you to take what's in the passage and maybe draw a few extra conclusions, figure things out for yourself. They don't give you all the answers, you have to actually think. 